Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about why stretch tires may not be such a great idea. And you know there's probably a lot of reasons out there why people may do this. Maybe for looks, uh, maybe to save money to put a narrower tire on a same size wheel. Uh, perhaps they think you know maybe there's a performance benefit to it. But let's kind of talk about why there aren't performance benefits and talk about the drawbacks of doing this. So there's really two ways you're gonna be doing a stretch tire uh, on a wheel. You're either gonna put narrower tires on the same size wheels, or you could put uh, wider wheels and use the stock tires or slightly wider tire, but point is you're gonna stretch them out. So a very simple process to do this. Uh, you just bead the tire and you know inflate it so that it, it matches with the wheel. Um, and so the drawbacks of doing a narrower tire on the same size wheel, well, you're gonna be decreasing your contact patch uh, beneath the tire, what your car is sitting on. That's where it gets all its grip from. So you're gonna have less grip. And also, uh, if you've watched my video on tire load sensitivity, you know that as you increase the load, the pressure on a smaller area like that, uh, you're gonna be decreasing the coefficient of friction. So you're gonna be losing some grip. Also, under heavy cornering, when you have a wheel like this, uh, you're going to be running onto the sidewalls. And so, obviously, you know, sidewalls aren't meant for you to run the car on them. That's what the, uh, the tread is for. And so that's definitely not a benefit. And you're going to seriously lose grip once you get onto that sidewall and you could damage the tire. So using wide wheels with stock tires or slightly wider tires where you're stretching it out, you may be able to get the same contact patch. You know, it's possible, uh, but there's a lot of drawbacks to doing this as well. You're gonna be increasing the wheel's weight, so you're increasing the weight of your vehicle, but additionally, because this wheel rotates, it has rotational inertia, and so you're increasing that rotational inertia. So your acceleration is going to be worse. Essentially, you're lowering your at-wheel horsepower, and you also are going to need more energy to stop your vehicle. So because there's more energy in that spinning wheel at speed, it takes more energy. That means you're putting more energy into your brakes. Uh, you could have brake fade earlier, and it's not going to be a huge difference, uh, but you know, it is a difference. It's a performance difference. So if you get a significantly heavier wheel, it could make a big difference. Also, depending on you know how that wheel sits and if it's sticking out of the car at all, or if you can see that you know beneath it, you can also increase the aerodynamic drag of your vehicle. And then, of course, the same thing with the sidewalls. If you stretch it out, you could run onto the sidewalls with heavy cornering. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below.